hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel some elite Igbo elites both in diaspora and in diaspora and in nigeria have been wondering why the Igbo politicians the Igbo leaders are not speaking on behalf of uh, their brothers their uh, those agitating for biafra ipub and the likes do not forget that in the northern part um, the northerners or the northern elites have been speaking in favor of their brothers who have been known to have crime who have been known to have crimes and blood in their hands uh, Call them nicer names like bandits. In fact, the bold, the border of them all is um, Shagume, who seem to be very bold in asking for amnesty and for better life. And don't even forget that Miti allies even demanded for Ministry of uh, of of cows of some sort of cattle rearing, you know. And people are just wondering. These guys are bold, even though they one way or the other they've been in crime. But yet, the indigenous people of Biafra and those lovers of freedom, those fighting for Biafra, have only asked for a better nation, asked for their own nation, asked to succeed, and they are being treated even in worse and harsher condition. And they are asking, do we have leaders? Do they have leaders? Are they not going to speak on their behalf? Well, uh, don't uh, worry for long as things are beginning to shape up. Leaders are beginning to have talks behind the uh, closed doors but before we go to the newspaper to find out what these evil politicians are or have in stock for ipob and those who have one way or the other been in any form of detention would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well senator audio uzo Kalu, the former governor of abia state and chief whip of the senate is is reportedly holding talks with northern leaders and key political figures in Washington, United States of America, seeking amnesty for detained members of the indigenous people of Biafra that they've been proscribed. A northern leader who did not want his identity disclosed said, Carlo, that's Ojos or Carlo, has been talking to him and several other northern leaders on the need to grant amnesty to detain members of the IPOB. The same source also revealed that it was the former governor and former director general of the Department of State Security, Lawan Daura, with the full consent of the federal government that secured the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nam Kano, during his first arrest and detention. But Kanu could not keep to the terms of the release and he jumped bail and has been rearrested. According to the news, let's continue. Another source revealed that Kanu has been in Washington in the past three weeks where he's holding different meetings with top officials of the United States on issues concerning IPOB. Attempts to unravel the discussion with U.S. officials was unsuccessful as lips were sealed on the issue. Sources at the presidential villa told a correspondent that's ABTV that the federal government is considering making the intelligence gathering or sponsorship of IPOB open. The publication of the list, which have all the transaction details between the sponsors and the IPOB, was earlier discouraged, earlierly discouraged, as it may further heighten tension in the already tensed uh, southeast. Recall that the Nigerian government has, through the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, said that the France that France was the headquarters of IPOB's funding, but the European country said it had no knowledge of IPOB's presence in France. The federal government later reached out to the, to France, explaining that. He did not accuse the country of being the sponsors of Biafra, but that a large transfer of funds were made regularly from France to IPOB in Nigeria. It was also learned that the federal government has asked the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit and the Central Bank of Nigeria to compile the needed information on sponsors and hand it over to the French government. The government will also write the special control unit against money laundering, which is taxed with the mandate of supervising, monitoring, and regulating designated non-financial institutions as regards compliance to Nigerians' anti-money laundering and combating the financing of terrorism. The source who pleaded anonymity because he was not authorized by the government to speak on the issue yet said, the French government has reached out to us over IPOB matter. It said we should give it account details and any other evidence showing that France was where the majority of the money was coming from. This is actually gotten from ABN TV. 
and it's quite getting very interesting that um is uh, everything is beginning to shape up we're going to give you a breakdown on what people are saying of course and we're going to look at this we're also going to analyze this very critically and now let's quickly look at what nigerians are saying this one here is saying for amnesty to work Kanu and all the detained IPB members must renounce the session and affirm the unity and indivisibility of Nigeria. So the question is, are they willing to pledge total loyalty and allegiance to Nigeria? Okay, but um, that's your opinion. Let's quickly look at um, let's quickly look at um, um, what the Nigerian government said that um, he jumped bail and all that. According to the lawyer of um, IPOB. Aloy uh, Ejimako, he said he didn't jump bail. He had to run for his dear life over what happened in Afaruko. Now, but there's somebody here that sort of says something that I really would like and the historians in our community to expatiate on this and how through it this is. I'm going to read it out now. He said, if you want to learn the real truth about Nigeria, it's, it's a comment here. He said, if you want to learn the real truth about Nigeria, go to UK Library in London and you read the direct account of those who invaded Nigeria. He said four major ethnic groups back then, Ife, which is Yoruba, Hausa, which is the north, Benin Empire, which is Iri Ibo, Iri, which is called Ibo. He said Ife Empire was at war with Edo Empire. Iri Empire was still developing. Hausa Empire was attacked by Usman Dan Fodio after he conquered the Hausa region. He decided to continue the conquest to down to Ife. Benin Kingdom then found an Iri Kingdom. But the British colonial masters military invaded Lagos, then fought with Benin Empire, Ife Empire, and then they fought with Usman and Fude before conquering all of them and joining them together as Nigeria. If not the British intervention, Usman and Fude was going to conquer ben Benin, Ife, and Iri Empire and declare, uh, their declare it as their region. Now it's 2021 and Usman Danfodio's dream, dream might be completed before 2023. That is why Igboho from Ife Kingdom, Namde Kanu from any kingdom are fighting to break out. Before Usman Danfodio loyalists carry out the plan they had before the British attacked them and halted them, preventing them from invading. Now the British that joined, we should defend our kingdoms because the british meet, met us as kingdoms they made a colossal mistake of joining four different kingdoms into one country it's like joining france germany and spain into one country that is how the soviet union was formed russia just like britain conquered different Slavic nations and joined them together as one country called ussr the Soviet revolution in the 90s made all of them to revolt and break up into different countries like Bulgaria, Ukraine, Belarus, and all that. If Soviet Union didn't last, what makes you think Nigeria will last? Nigeria is another Soviet Union in 2000 that is, that is waiting to collapse. It's, it may not happen in our time, but it may, do, it may happen during our children's time, but it will definitely happen. I don't know how true this is. Let's put it in the comment section. How how do you rate my um, um uh, uh, this senator that's all you Carlos attempt to get amnesty for IPOB and others are saying look amnesty IPOB there is no amnesty all they want is Biafra. Listen to that please.